Ross, so we are expecting a vote on a USPS bill, but how significant would that be without the backing of Senate Republicans or the White House? Well, exactly. I mean, anything that the Democrats do in the House where they have the majority is basically signaling, and, and Nancy Pelosi uh, and her colleagues are signaling their concern about the changes that have been happening to the post office. But unless you get buy-in, uh, which is led by Republicans, really nothing may happen. But nonetheless, uh, Pelosi is bringing House members back, uh, and they're expected to uh, vote maybe Saturday on a, a bill uh, coming out of the, uh, the House Oversight Committee that basically says to the post office, don't make any changes before January, don't uh, interfere with the election. So that's the real sort of uh, methodology that the, Repo that the Democrats are going after in this bill. And it looks like, uh, Ros, Joe Biden will be going into the convention with some momentum this week. What are we expecting to hear and how is he placing in the polls? Yes, it, it definitely seems there's been polls. I mean, every day uh, polls are out. Uh, we've had a couple today showing Biden with a substantial lead nationwide and also leading in many battleground states. Uh, but we know that can change on a dime, really. Um, it does seem like his campaign has got some momentum after picking Kamala Harris as the running mate, so that's good for him. Um, it's an interesting convention. Uh, obviously, there's no bells and whistles. There's no people going to Milwaukee to, to stand around in an, in an arena. So it's basically a huge political convention being held by Zoom. So typically, you would expect um, either party, the Dems or the Republicans, to get a bounce coming out of their convention. It's unclear if that will happen to the Democrats in this case. Um, uh, we did see some polling today that suggests most Democrats want uh, Biden to and, and the Democrats to have a positive convention and really focus on what they can do for the country rather than just tearing down Trump. <clears throat> but at the same time, uh, it, it seems like many of the people voting for Biden are less enthusiastic about him and more enthusiastic about getting away, uh, getting uh, out to vote against Trump. So uh, an interesting dynamic. We'll see how it goes this week.